Yo guys, what is going on Blossom is back and welcome back to their episode of Top Drives. Now, if Top Drive stocks were a thing, I will tell you this. I feel like multiplayer event stocks has gone down, but EGT stocks has gone back up. It's, it's a weird order of things because it's like we got the brand new update, then we had like one, uh, one final about it. I mean, that was like the worst final ever that they could have ever done on Audi. And then they totally forgot about the update for an entire month, right? Because with the summer game stuff going on, and I still think that they did summer games really well. That was great. Um, I felt like a lot of my summer games cars, you know, got a lot of use and they were worth it. And I feel like the pack was worth it. I thought that was pretty well done. Um, but yeah, and then, and then we, we totally forgot about EGT and, and now it's kind of back. So uh, I think that multiplayer event stocks kind of go down because, you know, I, I tell you what, man, these, these these events like uh, front engine face off and then high flyers and everyone that's gonna come after this, it just doesn't have the same sting to it anymore. There's nothing to, there's nothing to fight for, you know. Like getting the ceramic pack, honestly, dude, is pretty easy. Like there was a time where like it was top ten that got the ceramic pack. Now it's top twenty. I don't need to, I've not played, you know, in this event for the last day, and I don't need to play for the rest of it. I can just see it out, and I know that I'll be getting a ceramic pack, as easy as that. Like, it just, there, there isn't that, that tenacity anymore, because, because the leaderboards, the leaderboards aren't being utilized, so it's like, nobody really wants to flex their egos anymore. They're just like, okay, we'll just take the ceramic pack, and, and we'll call it a day. But here's the thing, EGT stocks are going back up, and the reason for that is because they started the trials out of nowhere, and I still think that it's pretty poorly planned. You know, the entirety of the weekend, and there were no challenges for us to play. I mean, the thing is, right, we are the most active throughout the weekends, at least the normal player, because you guys aren't pro are probably not working, you know, you're off your nine to fives on the weekend, and you have more time to, you know, pick up your mobile phones and play some games. That being said, though, nothing new. We had these three things at the start on, like, Thursday, and uh, that was it. Like, like I, I felt that the weekend was a good time to maybe introduce even more levels, like four, five, six, nothing. Um, you know, I've, I've already completed this for like a day, gonna be two days or something like that, and there's been no new content over the weekend, which I thought was a little bit, you know, poorly planned. Uh, I'm still sitting here with 600 tokens. I, I, I'm telling you this right now, I am marching my way all the way to 4,000, and that's it. Uh, I am not gonna open a single pack until I unlock every single tier. And uh, we're just going to go through all of it. The thing that's a little bit annoying, though, is that you're only allowed to redeem five at a time. If not, you'll have to buy, uh, you have, you'll have to buy tickets to, to do more uh, of these races. Which means that if I want to do an entire shot from level one to level 20, just getting all the prizes, I would actually need to forfeit, like, what, 300 gold? <laughs> like, it's... Oh, man, I don't know why. I don't know why. They, they should just let you have an unlimited amount of races for, for, for um, claiming those prizes. But anyway, uh, let's jump into... we got the tune-up coming up, right? It's coming out tomorrow. But we're going to the Veterans Challenge because we have a carbon fiber to open. So I've already completed every single level besides this last one. Let's check it out. One, two, three, uh, three, four, five. Basically, what we're going to do, carbon fiber at the start, carbon fiber at the end. How about that? Uh, the one at the end might even be an EGT one. Looking for those Peugeots for the uh, 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 Tri-Series, not update, but Tri-Series coming up. It'll be nice. It'll be very fitting. I would say we've got a, a EGT Peugeot from this. Uh, you know, EGT Peugeot is like the good side, right, of, of the update. And then like Audi is like the bad side. It's like two sides of it. Well, we did get one, right? The 206 uh, station wagon concept. Uh, and then we've got the Jaguar D-Type. And for a second, I was like, oh, this is going to be a double super. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not opening a ceramic pack. This is a carbon fiber. And we start off, ooh, you know what? That's that's okay. I'll take that. I will take that. I will never get mad with a Dodge Challenger. RQ61, it is one of the best American Ultras for the one mile, I believe. Uh, so I will take that. I also have a chance of getting the Lissetti if I want to. I can also get the Legendary Exchange Pack. Um, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's an, it's an RQ82 to 84. Actually, you know what? I want to see my odds. 82 to 84. I don't think there are any EGT Peugeots that are going to be within that tag, but one can dream, right? So, um, let's go uh, European Grand Tour, and then we're going to go to, at, uh, not car attributes, but manufacturer. Let's look for P. Uh, usually, I just see the Pontiac logo. Oh, okay, I don't see, oh, there's the Pontiac logo. I saw the Peugeot logo first, actually. So, anything within 82 to 84? No. Tell you what, though. That's gonna be a good pack to open, right? That's it's a it's a it's a Peugeot five times EGT five times. I'll give you a quick little uh, look see, right? So uh, let's go into collections and tags, non prize cars. Yeah, dude, four legends, and they're all really good, right? We 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 did this in overrated or um overpowered. 
905 Spider is pretty good, but I think the real the real kicker here is this this Peugeot L500R, right? The best non-prize hairpin car in the game. Uh, Inception, okay, this one, I mean, it's probably going to be good, but the handling isn't that good. This one, I know for a fact that the MRA is ridiculous. Like, the MRA on this is really, really, really high. Top speed is there to back it up, too. So, some pretty decent stuff here. In terms of epics, again... I mean, okay, there are a couple of duds here, but it ain't no Audis, right? At least this is a little different. I, I would be looking forward to getting, be getting the 508s. I think this is a really gorgeous looking car, especially the station wagon. That's that's really, really nice. Uh, 406 Coupe Silhouette. That's probably going to be very useful for the final. I do have a feeling. Um, Ultra Rares, again, you know, not many to choose from, but it's, you know, within how many Ultra Rares is this? Eight. Eight ultra rares, and they are a hundred million times more diverse than Audi. Audi, everything is four-wheel drive, medium ground clearance. They handle like crap, and they're all just terrible. Look at the diversity among the eight cars that Peugeot can provide. We have one off-road. Well, we actually have two off-road. We've got slick tires. We've got standard tires, right? We've got low ground clearance. We've got medium ground clearance. We've got four-wheel drive. We've got front-wheel drive. Okay, no rear-wheel drive, but uh, oh yeah, we do. We do have one. There's more diversity within these eight cars we've got we've got, we've got a four-wheel drive medium a high uh we've got a four-wheel drive medium we've got a four-wheel drive low there's more diversity between these cars and there's a medium too okay there's medium yeah we're more diversity between these cars than the entirety of like the 100 audis that we're able to provide like yeah we're, we're looking at the good side now we're looking at the good side is this a price car it's not okay i'm surprised i've not unpacked that yet okay that's the only one i've not unpacked uh because all that have probably be, probably been fused away I've, I've never gotten that concept though so that's yeah that's one i did filter by non-prize offer so let me show you my collection right so that's what i've got right now going to the final <laughs> not not a lot got that 207 uh peugeot sxc uh i i always read this in a different way <laughs> uh the instinct that's a pretty good one so anyway uh, looking forward to that final coming up. So I'll be saving the bulk of my gold for that. And I'll probably be spending all my gold for that one final. Um, the next prize card coming up after the Radical is the um, the Hyundai all-surface tire. Not not useful, honestly. Um, you know, I've I, I've got the WRXs. I, I think the other prize card that's coming up, I it's it's an all-surface tire car, um, which isn't going to bring a... Yeah, it's a 95. 2688, right? 2688. I mean, it ain't no 1889, <laughs> which I've got two of. So, yeah, I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. Anyway, let's jump into front engine face off. I've, I've not touched this event for so long. And uh, the thing about this event is that I don't really want to race in it because if, if you don't own one specific car, uh, which is, uh, which one is it? Uh, the uh, Cadet. If you don't own the Cadet, you're, you're basically screwed. Um, yeah, so I think top three, top four, Cadet, 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 Cadet. So, <sighs> It'd be like that. But then again, this one is, 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 is possible to beat because uh, although he has a cadet, he has like nothing else. So this is gonna lose by a pretty big margin. We're gonna win the half mile. We're gonna win everything else, essentially, right? We're gonna win everything else. Also, on a completely random note, because you know in these gameplay day videos, I always talk about random stuff, right? It's like, a, oh no, okay, okay. I thought I was gonna freeze for a second. Let's watch this, by the way, because this is the first time I'm actually showcasing those new Miami tracks and they're actually really, really gorgeous. Um, but anyway, random topic. Anyone watching uh, tennis? Because, uh, you know, I, I love watching tennis and I love watching soccer, right? And, uh, yeah, what's, what's up with the U.S. Open right now, guys, if you're watching tennis? Come on. Uh, Djokovic is out. Uh, Alcaraz is out. I mean, what? who do you think is going to win the U.S. Open? I mean, it has to be Sinner, right? I mean, with Alcaraz out and Djokovic out. But then again, you can make an argument that since Djokovic and Alcaraz are already out, who knows? Sinner might be out next. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know who's going to win that anymore. I mean, he's the only one I can think of. Okay, that loses by 81. So if I'm going up against a fully upgraded cadet, that's probably going to lose by like 100 points. Crazy. Crazy. I mean, this thing, like, I, I, I've wanted the cadet since the beginning of Great Exhibition or whatever update that came in. Um, I've, I've never had the chance to, to get it yet, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, 281. We won all the other races besides that off-road one. Let's see if we can get four races down out of here. Ooh, actually 13 more minutes before that car expires. I need to remind myself of that. If I could, I mean, I, I, I would like to keep racing that one guy that I just raced. Is, is that him? Is this him? I don't think it's him. Is it him? Is that, that's not fully upgraded. That's two stars. Okay, okay. I still I still see four win conditions here, so I'll take it. So uh, that's one win condition, two win conditions, right? And then that's three. You need a medium ground clearance there. You got Miami Causeway. I'm going to switch that around. Put you in Miami Causeway. And then we use Miami U-Drag at the end. Um, I want to see who wins that drag, though. Uh, I, I, I think the Fiji, I don't know. Zero to 100 is the shortest of the drags. So even though that thing is MRA, it might need a little bit more to, to, to close the gap. It's going to be close. Oh, 
0016. You know, this is not the first time we've had a Holden event where this Fiji has been incredibly useful. Um, it is just such an absolute bargain, isn't it? Yep, that's a win that right there as well. Every time there's a Holden event, I'm always using those fully upgraded epics that I had to use for my Sauber C9 final, so... It's nice to see that these cars get a little bit of use, you know? At least at least Holden can carry their own weight in some respect, unlike Skoda. Uh, and also, okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they can. <laughs> I just realized Hummer is actually part of the requirements. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone here is using a single Hummer at all. Okay, it's the same one, same track set. All right, let's do it all over again. That's gonna be simple. So uh, that's one win, uh, that's gonna lose, that's gonna win, that's medium ground clearance. Uh, I'm glad that they added this speed bump icon because I wouldn't know if Miami Streets is low ground clearance or medium ground clearance. I think even if you watch that race, you don't, I don't think you can even pinpoint where the, the medium ground, where, where the uh, speed bumps are. Let's, let's, give, let's check that out actually. I, I don't think I know where the speed bumps are. So we're gonna get through that. Okay, yep, we saw that, done. I'm gonna watch this next one here. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Can we see those speed bumps? So we start off, yep, nothing there. Oh, are those the speed bumps right at the start? Oh, those have to be, yeah, okay, all right, those are the speed bumps. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, they, they, they look pretty flat. <laughs> they, they look a little bit like zebra crossings, but I digress. Okay, 200 to 66, we take that. And we are somehow first place. I, 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 I have no intention to take first place, okay? Um, I, I don't deserve it. Uh, honestly, if you have the cadet, that's, that place is for you. I don't, I don't have that. Uh, I have everything else, but I don't have that. Um, okay, so that's another win here. Uh, that's gonna be a draw, so we're gonna move that. Same, same, same thing, right? Same thing that we were using earlier. I, I feel kind of bad. We've been raising the same guy for like four races, but I can't beat the other two people above him. I'm pretty sure I can give it a try, but I don't need to shoot myself in the foot now, do I? 203 to 66. That's another one there. Okay, cool. And last but not least, one more race. before I need to get those cars in. I just realized I got 84 held cars and they're expiring soon. That's from yesterday's pack opening. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, I can't beat the rest of that, dude. I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go to this guy four times out of five. Uh, so there you go. Another win. He looks like a cool guy from his profile picture. He looks, he looks like a, a pretty chill guy. Ooh, is that, no, it's not okay. Uh, I don't know why. Um, ooh, tell you what though, a Fiji can't really go anywhere for this one. Unless I put it on fast circuit. I feel like you'll lose the lease on fast circuit. It's still gonna lose, but, uh, yeah, I'll put it there. Man, you know, honestly, if I put it on that against the, uh, the Ute or, or whatever, the, uh, the ultra rear that, that might have won i don't know depending on the track set wait 231 i don't okay why did i lose by that much did i put an off-road tire on the drive did i forget something did i put a medium ground clearance on the low wait what i actually don't remember they're all medium they're all medium besides this i don't know man anyway i got nine minutes left i've got nine minutes left and i got 55 <laughs> oh no oh no okay i need to upgrade some stuff uh, so one, two, three. Do I even have any rares that I need to upgrade right now? Because yeah, the, the, all these uncommons were from yesterday's opening. Yeah, yesterday's back opening, right? So yeah, let's, let's upgrade this Tipo station wagon. This is the other thing I was saying about the uh, stocks of uh, EGT going back up. As you can see, I'm going back to upgrading some EGT stuff. Um, yeah, I need, I, need to, I need to get rid of this soon. Yeah, even the rares, even the rares. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, 207. Let's get you nice and upgraded, nice and situated as well. So one, two, three, right? So that's done. And I only need six more to fully upgrade that. What are what are you? Are you done? Are you done? No, I need uh, I need three more. Okay, so I need three more. How many do I have sitting? Nineteen. So one, two, three. Uh, so let's put you in for the Caterham Super 7 600. This is the third one that I'm fully upgrading uh, for clubs. So one, two, three. There you go. And uh, I only need six, right? I only need six, so I can sell 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, that buys me a lot of time. I've got 11 hours left on the clock for the rest of those cars. And uh, Uncommons, oh, you don't know, there are, there are a lot as well that I need to work on. So Uncommons, we did get that station wagon, which I do want to fully upgrade. So where is it, EGT? It's a good looking photo. Uh, so yeah, this one. So. Let's I actually have this car fully upgraded on Gawams. Like I, I got this car in Gawams. I fully upgraded it before my main. Look at that. Gawams making moves. So that's gonna yeah, that's gonna take a couple of resources as well. Let me give a quick little check. 
to what I have currently in the bag. So I need three uncommons here and I need, okay, I need 15. I need 15 uncommons to upgrade those two cars. So my car is 59 held cars, let's add them in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Add one more just for good luck. Okay, I can sell the rest now. Okay, I think uh, I think that should be good. Okay, I got 13 minutes, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. Still at one hour, still at one hour, two hours, 11 hours. Okay, we're basically good now, but I'm just gonna sell everything, might as well. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a cash back and we don't have that problem anymore. We've got the super rare, we've got the ultra rare, we've got the rare. Tell you what, let's do a couple more races and then we end off with another carbon fiber. So High Flyers is the other event that we kind of want to join. It's uh, 2010 to 2019, which I'm pretty sure you can't fit the uh, the Macan, right? Yeah, you can't, not the Macan, the Cayenne, the Cayenne GT, <laughs> which is a little annoying if you have the Cayenne GT because that's essentially like the best. Um, but you can't use it, so unlucky. I'm using all of these, and I'm using the Aerial Nomad. I don't think there's a- oh wait, no, I'm not, because there, there isn't enough RQ to use. So, maybe... a rover? For the drags? Are there, is there, there's, there's not a drag on every single track, so there's a half mile, there's a test bowl, there's a city sprint. So the rover may not be the best option. Maybe the Subaru Forester, like, let's go with that. Um, standard tire is pretty decent to use as well, because there's that one track set where it's just all wet. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with the performance tires, run the all surface tires on the wet stuff. So again, you know, I guess this is an all surface tire event, which is cool. Very rare to find very, uh, you know, uh, very little in between. Um, so I get to use them, but then again, I'm only using the best of the best, right? In a garage that has like 200 unique all surface tire cars. I'm really only using, you know, the ones that I use all the time, like the Urus, for example. Oh, there we go. And that's another token in the bag. I think that's like token number 85 or something like that. That thing's going to keep going, man. It's going to keep going until the next update. That's, that's my entire plan right now. Uh, because I've already, yeah, I've already collected 70, right? So that's already a one mil opening right there in terms of tokens. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the way until the next update and see how many tokens I'm allowed to uh, that uh, I finally amassed, right? Um, I'm hoping somewhere in the 200s. We will see though. If an update is every four months then I can get 120 tokens, just about. Um, so maybe, yeah, maybe just around 200 tokens before uh, before the next update. If I get 210 tokens, I do believe that's 3 mil of free ceramic packs, but that's 200 days of daily objectives, and I cannot miss a single one. Ooh, I just realized something. Maybe I shouldn't be using an off-road tire car because there's one track set where it's all wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that thing is, that thing's gonna, yeah, it's not gonna do well in Twisty Road, that off-road tire nomad. Might have to rethink if I really want to use that or not. Okay, well, we didn't lose by too much, only 117, so it's no, you know, slick on the wet kind of situation, but it's still not really advised. Is anyone else, I mean, this guy, this guy doesn't mind, this guy's using the, uh, the nomad as well. And, uh, that's, uh, stock. Well, yeah, one star, that is one star, three, four. Okay, okay, I see win conditions here. So that's going to be a draw, that's going to be a win, that's going to be a win as well, and that's going to be a potential win? I don't know, three handling less, you tell me. Um, but we should be winning at least three races with one draw with our Nomad. So yeah, 150 to 97, I'll take that, four and oh. One more to go, and then we can go get our carbon fiber. So let's go on the last one over here. Again, um, same dude with the off-road tire, which I guess pays off well on any track set that isn't that one wet track set. Is it? Is it worth it though? 2991 is some pretty nice performance, um, you know, for some non-wet circumstances. Uh, one mile, fast circuit, city tour, and a city slalom. I don't think any of these cars are gonna be good for any kind of slalom. They're all big and, and heavy. You know what? Nomad. Yeah, Nomad would be great for that, actually. All right, skip match. Take that. 320. Ooh, three stars. I'll take that. Again, it'll be another ceramic pack, which is cool. I, I do like these grace periods in between, you know, special challenges, because that also means that we're getting regular ceramic packs, which means, you know, slightly better odds than in a special event where we get premiums and we get lower odds and all that kind of stuff. Okay, back to a mill as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's end off with one more carbon fiber. Let's go. What's any, any, any good offers? There, there is the, the summer games that's on discount. 
but we've it, there's no point opening it besides the fact that it's a relatively cheap pack to open at a uh, thousand four right there's the vanilla carbon fiber and then there's also the high risk high reward we could get an ultra i mean we we could get a peugeot right but we could also get an audi and we do not want that at all it's 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 such a high risk high reward pack man but i tell you what we'll open one just for the meme let's get it final one and that will be today so we start of a carbon we end of a carbon uh, is it gonna end with I, I promise you this if, if I get an Audi Ultra from this I'm never opening an EGT carbon fiber ever again. I thought that's fine. That's a super rare if, if it's an Audi Ultra I'm not opening any any of these ever again zero not zip not a zip. Okay, three two one. Let's go <laughs> Ooh! Okay <laughs> yeah, That that worked out <laughs> that worked out fine uh, Peugeot H X one you know that this update is really just rocking it to my core when I'm excited for Peugeot's because if you are an OG to the channel, you would know that I'm not even a fan of this brand. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. They're good in the game. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac. Hold tight.